It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? One of the things I like about having a mask, a fly just flew into my mouth, but he couldn't get into my mouth because of the mask. Without the mask, I would have just eaten a fly. I almost kind of want to wear this thing now all the time when I'm riding my bike. Corona, pff, my immune system will beat that in a day. Eating a fly, I'll live with that for the rest of my life. No thank you. So it's starting to get sunny out. Yesterday it was 66 degrees and today it was 70. We do live in New York after all, so that does not preclude the, uh, the opportunity for tomorrow to bring 27 degree weather to this dump of a city. But it's kind of getting nice out, so this quarantine thing is probably not gonna go the way the governor and the mayor wanted to. Wow, thank you for that. Thank you for that honk. Yes, let me go faster into the back of this immobile truck. Jackass. Aren't you so glad that you honked so that you could go to a freaking stopped light? I can pass you too, mofo! <sighs> so, it's pretty nice outside, you can see today. You can see the, the reason that bikes use the the car lane is because the cars use the bike lane. So it's kind of... What they do is they put on this blinking light thing. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like there's a little button in your car that you hit. And when you hit it, the police don't ticket you and your car and your lights blink. And you can park wherever you want. It's park anywhere lights. It's pretty cool. So... Fresh Direct is now hiring. Good to know. If the laptop repair business ever goes to shit, I can get a job there. So we may have more data recovery videos coming on the horizon. One of the things I've realized is if I had to do my setup every single time I did a border pair video, I had to reset everything up, I'd likely never do one. And with the board, and with data recovery, every video we've done, we, we specially set up exactly where to put the camera in the clean room bench, and we specially set up the wiring and all that. But if I set it up so that I can very easily, you know, you hit one, one flip of a switch and everything's on, and audio and video and everything are there, it's more likely we'll get rid of regular videos done. So what I need to do today, I already laid out some HDMI cabling to my office yesterday because I had a bunch of 100 and 150 foot HDMI cords left which I can use for this. My gear train's not happy with me there. Is what I want to do is set it up so that recording video is as easy as like one, one click. But that means that I have to figure out how to put a, a camera and mount it inside that clean room bench without damaging it because I don't want it to be a tripod or else it'll take too much space. So I gotta find out how I can mount a camera inside of that. Right turn signal. So I'm probably gonna put some time into figuring out how to do that today. Shit. Twenty-four point nine 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 miles per hour. So apparently, the new proposed e-bike regulation 
is going to be that they go to 25 miles an hour instead of 20. So instead of 19.99999, I got to be able to do 24.99999. A minor adjustment. A minor adjustment. But something to get used to nonetheless. Alright, this is a crossing area. Slow down, slow down. And the light is turning. Speed up! Speed up! Three seconds to go! Oh shit! Will I make it? I made it. Just in time. You know, I, I went to buy some used Sony A5100s because I'm going to be using those. It's an amazing camera. I got one of them, the overhead one on my desk, I got for about $220 or $250 on eBay because the flash was malfunctioning. I already have lenses for them for my NEX EA50, so I don't have to worry about lenses because I have lenses that fit already, made for that sensor size and everything. It's a really high quality camera. I used it for that video I did on procrastination at home, and you can see the quality of that video, the one that I made in December of 2016. I went to Mercari, there are people selling that camera used for more than what Best Buy wants for it now. It's interesting, because I figured, hard economic times, people, you know, the first thing that someone's probably going to sell is their digital camera, because they have a camera built into their phone. It's interesting that there's less available now than there were when the economy was booming. Because when the economy was booming, I could find those used for $250 to $300 all the time, and now that the economy's not booming, they're not available anywhere. Very strange. Best Buy actually is selling it for 449 bucks, with the lens and everything, new in box, which is an amazing deal. I also want to do some Zaomowing videos, so I finally have the space for the Zaomow and the time for the Zaomow. Before, remember, I didn't have the space and the time for the Zaomow. I was lacking in what's called space time. And. Now Chris is working that thing on a regular basis and kicking ass with it. One of the things that we learned is that the T2 chip is not linked to the CPU for data. So when, if the CPU dies on a 2016 or 2017 touch bar, you can still use that light bulb port to get the data. When it dies at a 2019 or 2020, you fucked because the SSD soldered to the board. There's no port to get the data. And even if there was, it's encrypted with the T2 chip. But one thing we realized is that unlike on an iPhone, where you need you know, the CPU, something else, and then AND, here you don't. The CPU can die. The CPU can get 12 volts to, to right to the face because the MOSFET's got liquid damage, and you can replace it and get the data. Now, it is a bit of a pain in the dick because those CPUs, especially the quad-core high-end, like, those things go for like five or 600 bucks on AliExpress. And this may surprise you, but sometimes on AliExpress, they sell shit that doesn't work. So you wait several weeks to get your chip. You got a chip that doesn't fucking work. Then you have to, and AliExpress won't give you your money back for chargeback, so you gotta do the... So you have to do the dispute with AliExpress and then credit card chargeback, it's a, a total mess. But, what's cool is that it is actually possible. But the thing is, those CPUs, uh, they bend in very easily. So a lot of the CPUs that we were buying for them, they would show up bent because they were taken off improperly. And Chris found the perfect profile so that they don't do that. So I'd like to do some more videos demonstrating demonstrating proper Zalmao technique. Proper utilization of the Zalmao. The bridge is really jam-packed today. Uh, 
I'll get some pedaling in for a minute. I'm kind of curious if I'd be able to go on the car side if I had a 72 volt battery. I want to try it someday because my other bike can't fit a 72 volt into the frame, but this one can fit another battery in the frame or a much larger one very easily. The thing is, this one has the thin tires, so if I go that fast on this bike, there's a good chance of my wheel turning into a triangle if I go over a pothole, whereas the other one can actually deal with it. By the way, not pedaling on the bridge on the downhill section. If you have a bike with gears, that should be punishable by death, I'm just saying. If you have a single speed, I get it. You can't pedal. I got balls. I don't have the balls to go through all these people without hitting someone. Maybe, maybe I should. Hmm. I'm pedaling at my lowest gear and it's still too slow. Jesus Christ. God, that's annoying. Just if you, like, look at how fast you can go down here. You're just pedaling. Like, no motor. You're just pedaling. Christ. Back to not pedaling man again. Why don't you pedal? Or motor or accelerate? Holy crap, that's a lot of people. This is cruel because I can't pass him because of all the people coming on the left. Bridge traffic is over. From I pedal. I am pedaling. And I'm not pedaling. Riding around people is just too painful. It only takes one person going ridiculously slow to fuck it up for the rest. I'll take the street. Let's 
catch up to those hogs. Those things sure are slow for the noise that they make. Traditional motorcycles are such garbage, I swear. Like, listen to the sheer amount of noise that shit makes, and you get no speed out of it. All that noise for no speed. Someday we're gonna look back on those engines and just laugh at I'll tell you wear a mask right there. That's how you wear a mask, my friend. Honk honk! Honk honk, motherfucker! I'm faster than you, bus! Are you about to turn your park anywhere lights on? You better not be turning your park anywhere lights on, you best. Oh, there, there we go. I thought he was gonna park in the middle of the street. I've seen that before. Vroom, motherfucker, vroom! Twenty-four point nine 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 nine. What the fuck is that guy doing? Driving while high is bad. He stopped at a green light. You lunatic. You absolute lunatic. Turn signal and go. Oh. oh, I just missed the manhole cover. That's luck right there. Uh oh. Most people got a mask on. I'd say 50% of the people got a mask on, 50% of the people wear the mask around their neck because they're neck breathers, and the other 25% don't have a mask at all. So it's a pretty good ratio. You can trust, pe for the most part, you can trust people to be responsible.
There's a lot of people outside today. 70 degrees in New York. People are gonna go outside. Am I a bus? I am not the bus. But I'm not a car either, so I don't really know what lane I belong in. Like, is my bike closer to a bus or a car? It's really nice. That guy needed to show his superiority of the ability to drive 40 miles an hour to the red light. What a waste. This is a cool looking building over here. Check this out. Yeah, I got 16 seconds to show you the building. Look at that shit. That's some cool architect. What is that? 121 E second condos. Ah, oh, never mind. The cooler the outside of the building looks, the less, the lower the likelihood you can afford to live there. It's a basic rule of it. Basic law of physics right there. When I did that, a wire for my throttle just broke off. I gotta recrimp that when I get to the office. Hmm. Should I manually throttle? I could just short this together every time I need to go. That's probably a bad idea. I should have made that wire longer. Oh well. We'll pedal the last four blocks. There was one time that my uh, wires were actually broken off. I mean, the crimp broke off. I actually made it the way home by just shorting the wire every time I wanted to go. Because I had this throttle and it wasn't water resistant. That's one of the things you should check for, by the way, whenever you buy these things. Do not buy an e-bike throttle that is not liquid resistant. You will fucking regret it. When the thing does not stop throttling in the rain and you almost die. So I, I chopped it off. Some wire cutters in my bag. Every time I wanted to go, I just shorted the wires together. Vroom. About four blocks away. The guy who was helping me with my other e-bike felt bad when he accidentally said 58 volts to the throttle line. And he said, guys, it's not a professional bike. It wasn't labeled. You had no way to tell. And he goes, yeah, but it's like, I got to show him this part of this video. I, I moved the handlebar a little bit to show someone something and a wire breaks. Make him feel better. Feel bad. He shouldn't feel bad about that. Yeah, there's a lot of people outside. Around 5th Avenue and 23rd Street, near some park. About four blocks from the office. Pedal power. The crimps for the throttle that I have are actually using the old, are using the old connectors that were not liquid resistant or insulated that I had, so I, I've been meaning to change those anyway. It's a, good, it's a good thing this happened since now I'll be forced to change it to the liquid resistant. Two, one, zero, from. You know, something I'd really like to revisit in the future is I want to go back to all these places that say for rent 
see what they're asking for now. A lot of people have said I should have waited because I would have got a much better deal in real estate. Honestly, I don't think so. Because you had to understand if you walk, when you see those videos of me searching, a large portion of the city is empty and the building owners still didn't care. They did not care to lower their price one nickel when the place had been empty for six, seven, or eight years. They're just completely anti-rational when it comes to the amount of money they expect to collect. They'd rather the place stay totally empty for seven or eight years. But I am kind of curious what the prices are going to be, so I may do a realty season four, three or four. That was a strange outfit. Interesting outfit. Strange outfit. This song. Stopping at red lights makes me an idiot because now I gotta work to catch up. Ooh. You never stop at the red, it's easier to keep up. This thing is so heavy with the controller and the motor and this gigantic battery. Oh, oh my. It should not take this much effort to go this speed. Oh. I feel like I gained. 30, 40 pounds. All right, my beautiful block. I made a joke with the managing agent of the building because my building is that scaffolding shit above it. You see up there? They have it too, scaffolding above the storefront. And he said, when, when should that be gone? And he goes, a few weeks. It's supposed to be done with construction in a few weeks. And I said, great, so it'll be gone by December 2020. Well. April 2020, it's still here. It's gonna be here for quite a while because the thing is the scaffolding makes this little place over here appear invisible. Anyway. What's good, David? All right, see you all later.